to the next part of the tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to actually prepare the image so it looks good for drawing and copying. So the first thing I want to do is if you notice on this picture it's a little bit soft and not quite as detailed as I'd like. So I'm going to duplicate the layer. You can do that in a number of ways if you just drag it onto the new layer icon. Then I'm going to go to filter, other, high pass. What this does is allows you to see all the fur in detail so you can raise the radius but then you see it gets blown out so I want to keep it quite low so I can just see the edges of the fur about one will do maybe 1.2 okay that and you want to select the layer style as hard light and you can see now it makes it pop a little if I just show you before and after that's without and that's with. Now what I want to do is merge these layers down. So with that layer selected I'll press Ctrl and E. Now that image is actually good enough for me now to actually start copying. What I'll do quickly is just image auto contrast just to adjust it slightly and go to file save as and I'll call it reference image and save that as a JPEG. So that will be the image that I'm ultimately copying. I will have a copy of that on my phone or on my iPad and I will zoom in so I can see all the details of each square. Now what I want to do is just to see exactly where the highlights are on Jenny's fur. The way I do that is I'll duplicate the layer just so I don't need to touch the original and I will go to the layer adjustment and throw in a black white adjustment layer. Now you can see I've desaturated the image. This allows you to see the tonal values a lot easier. If you want, you can actually go through the presets and make it anything you like so you can see it more clearly. Now what I'll do is just for now is stick to the default. But then what I want to do as well is click back on the layer and throw in a levels adjustment. What I want to do is just adjust the sliders so that I can see the white parts of the fur a lot more easy. So if I use this and slide it all the way to the right, you can see now it goes darker and we can just see the whites of the fur. That's ultimately what I want. I want to just see the white parts of the fur so I can see exactly where I need to make sure I'm using the lightest tonal values. You see there, what I can see now is we've got all the dark bits, the shadowed areas, all these bits here. The mid ranges, which are here and on the nose, just above the eyebrow. And then all the highlights and white parts here. This stands out a lot more easier and allows me to get the total range of tonal values in the image. I'll save that again as reference tonal as a JPEG. Again, as I said, I'll save both of these, export these to my phone or my iPad, and then I will literally, when I start drawing, have both of these to hand, and I can just literally zoom in and start on one square, if I'm not sure about the way this looks in terms of tone, because it is more difficult to tell with pencil crayon, I can just put my levels and black and white layer uh, on top and see whereabouts I am. So now I can see we've got a medium value into a very dark value and then gradation back out to medium and into highlights. That's all for today's tutorial. Thanks very much and I'll see you in the next one.